again, it's me, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with more LEGO Batman. This is level 12, Little Fun at the Big Top Free Play. We're going to find all 10 of those mini kits and get to that true hero stud requirement. Of course, find a red brick for decoys and also turn a frown upside down. Fun fact about that. I accidentally got this hostage in story, and it's pretty likely you did too, just because of the placement. We'll talk about that once we get there. We do want to quickly remind you about the quick links down below in the video description. They can be used to quickly get to all of those different things. So if you only need like the red brick or whatever it is, you guys get the drift. All right, here we go. We're going to jump right into the old Batwing, head over to level two, little fun at the big top. You can see that frown is already turned upside down. It's a smiley face, but that doesn't mean we won't show you where it is and how to get it. It's actually really easy and in your direct path. So when you guys are ready, choose who you want. We went with Clayface, let the game choose the rest. And well, here we go. We're going to go ahead and head to the left and use a strong character such as Clayface to push this giant bus out of the way. Give a little cha-cha-cha-cha, take out a few bad guys, a few more drop in. We're going to make our way to the left, focus on this dumpster over here. But before we can pull it back to the place we need it, we get jumped yet again. Uh, once we proceed, we're going to go ahead and double jump up onto this middle area, building up a tight pants tightrope. I switched to somebody who's going to get on top of it rather than get on the bottom and hang on it because it was kind of a funny angle and my character would not get up the old tightrope. Now that we've grabbed that mini kit, we are officially on our way to number two, which is right around the corner here. In fact, we're going to take out a few more bad guys and then pull out our sonar suit and get our... On and take out all three of these windows. Once all three have been removed, a mini game starts inside, which we can use our batarang or robberang to go ahead and take out all of these bouncy. It look like doesn't it look like a McDonald's large fry or something, <laughs> like from the '80s, like a retro McDonald's fry. I don't, I don't know why it looks that way for me, but it, it totally does. Eventually, you'll get all of them, and a mini kit will spawn on the roof. Now, to get it, we actually have to go all the way down basically to the end gate here and destroy a couple of items in the back left corner and build up a ladder. Sadly, we get rushed by a bunch of uh, baddies, so go ahead and a ratty. Once you get a nice clear path, take out the two flowers on the left and build up those bouncing bricks into that ladder. And we'll get attacked probably two or three more times before we get this built because that's just how this game works. And of course, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And up we go. Now, this is kind of tricky. I recommend using a character with the glide ability to climb up the ladder and then glide back over to the left. It's kind of a trick here. We jump up and over we go. And, of course, you're going to need the glide or a double jumper to cross over these roofs all the way over. And finally, we collect mini kit number two. That's crazy. Now on the second roof, right in the middle here, we're going to switch over to old Batman in the demo suit. Deploy one of our bomb, 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 bombs. Look at that. We've got a nice open area. We can drop down in the dive suit and collect number three. So we're making some pretty good ground all of a sudden after that long first mini kit. That was crazy. All right, right side of the gate, we got a mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, techno panel. We'll go ahead and activate that, and we've got these little rubber duckies on the run. We'll go ahead and knock them all down, and Booyaka Shao. Mini kit spawns much easier to get. Thank you very much. All right, next up, we need a character with the glide ability to go ahead and get across this gap here. On the other side, we're going to flip a switch, which is going to open a door into another area. And, of course, <laughs> it's dance lesson time. We've got a bunch of studs back here in the corner. That machine pukes out a bunch of studs, too. But what we need is that techno suit once again. Got to get our oots oots on. And, oh, we got this. This guy, is like, he just never gives up. I tell you what. All right, there we go. All right, now we got to play the claw. I feel like we did one of these recently. Hmm. Anyways, we'll go ahead and use this bad boy to move it over to the far right side. Drop it out. We got to actually take all three of those. Are they pink? I don't know what color those are. Peach. So that's kind of a whatever they are. Take those ones, not the blue ones. We'll go we'll, go we'll, we'll go with that. So once all three of those have been dropped, smacked. It should spawn the red brick in the back. We'll go ahead and grab that one last time. Drop it like it's hot. It does have red on it. And of course, we'll swoop it up and be on out of here. All right, I noticed that our stud count was a little low. You guys might have noticed, too, that I only have the times two stud multiplier on. 
Why is that, Brian? Well, to be completely honest with you, there was a couple reasons why I did it in this level. One of them had to do with the fact that we have 4 billion studs overall, and we cannot add any more monies. Now, in this particular case, I always like to get a precise stud hero or stud villain requirement. And when I did my scouting run, it uh, went a little faster, and I wasn't sure. I actually had it down as 120,000, because I just got so many studs at once, and it just multiplied, and all of a sudden it was done, and I didn't know. So this time I kind of went slower, and as it turns out, it was 127,000. So we'll see that here in a little bit as we eventually get to that point. All right, we are officially done with this first area now, so we're going to go ahead and smash the two flowers on the right side of the gate, which we can build up into two silver sandcastles? What? That's a little odd. They almost look like rocket castles. <laughs> Blow them up with a bomb, and it should give us access into a new area. Immediately, we are greeted by some more foes, and you know how that goes. We'll go ahead and take them all down, and then we'll focus on this garbage can in the back left corner that has a glass top on it. I'm not even sure it's a garbage can. Whatever it is, give it the old sonar gun and rebuild it once you smash it, and it's going to turn into a grapple point. Before grappling, though, you're going to want to throw a batarang up there and, of course, clear the window out. Grapple up, swoop up number five, and we are out of the... Now we've got this next little spot here which uh, requires us to get in there and get the suit swapper. We don't technically need that, but I figured there's a bunch of studs in here, uh, bad guys, multipliers based on kicking down those bad guys, and uh, well, it was just worth it for to me. So we're at 103,000 almost to that point of, uh, well, no return. I like that this game does not take the stud requirement away from you if you fall under that. So like if you die, you lose studs, right? Some games actually have a requirement of keeping above that level. So let's say it is 127,000, and I get it, and then I die, and I drop to 126,000. It actually doesn't remove that true hero stud requirement from it, which some games do, and I'm super glad that it doesn't, because that's kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's just my preference. I guess I won't say it's annoying. It's just my preference that I like it this way. All right, we got the old moon boots out and climbed up that wall that we made with that push switch and, of course, grapple point at the top, which allowed us to get over this nice big fence. In the new area, there's a whole new bad guy brigade that comes at us, and we're going to take them down, switch to the Joker, and use his buzzer on this machine on the left to activate the old teacups. And look at that, we've got ourselves a mini kit that spawns in the front left guy. All right, now this is where those hostages are, or the hostage. It's right here on the back side of the teacups. Real easy to get, especially since you need those hazard bricks in order to advance through this section. And we probably had to come back there to get them, so you likely got that hostage in peril as well. But good news is, we showed you where it was, and you certainly have it now if you didn't before. All right, got to pick up 25 hazard suit bricks in order to activate this big plunger machine over here, which is going to puke out a bunch of bricks that we can build into a ladder and get up to the escape part. Well, there's actually a mini kit before we bounce out of here, too, but we'll get to that in a hot second. You got to round up 25 of these bad boys, and there are plenty. You can take out those, whatever they are, the cans right in front there. Uh, they give you some. There's some on the right. They're, they're, they're all over the place. They're, there's not a, a lack of supply. In fact, I've got over 25 now. You can smash all those tables and chairs there, and I do believe those give you some as well. So uh, collect the 25, deposit them, and we'll go ahead and build up our ladder. And before we bounce out of here, we're going to want to ride a slide. Yeah, the way out's on the right, but we're going to go left here and simply walk into this area, and it's going to take you to the top, spawn you, and you slide on down. Woohoo! Batman missed it. I thought I wasn't going to get it. I was like, wait a minute. I thought that was a given that you got it, but Robin picked it up on the way through. All right, we're out of here. We're going to move to the next area here. And, of course, there's some studdage inside that building there. If you want it, we're just going to go ahead and ratty the baddies and move over to this techno suit panel, which we'll go ahead and get our own, drive the boats into the appropriate color. So you got blue, you got green, you got red, and you got yellow. And we'll go ahead and park them all in there. Giggity. And uh, <laughs> once we get done with that, it's going to spawn a mini kit in the front left side. We'll go ahead and use a character with toxic immunity to jump in there and grab it for us. Now, on the right-hand side is the way out. you got to smash this little ice cream truck, and it's, I don't know what was next to it, a can of sorts, barrel. It'll give you some bouncing bricks, but we are going to focus on those in a second. got to use a strong character to rip off this gate in the back, and we're going to do a little bumper cars. 
You know, I haven't done this in a long time. We actually have a nice place at the beach that we go to every once in a while that has bumper cars. And I don't do so well with uh, motion and stuff, but bumper cars are my thing. I can totally handle these guys. So uh, we often do those when we go there. And as you can tell, I am a pro here. You just need to bump all three of the bad guys three times. That's right. It's the rule of three. It's going to drop out that mini kit, swoop it up, and bounce on out of here. Now, again, to get out of here, you got to smash the cart and the bits next to us to go ahead and build it up into what ends up being a push switch. <laughs> hey, dude, chill out, bro. Chill out. I actually took my words pretty literally. We'll go ahead and push this around. You can see it's unlocking the gate. We'll go ahead and jump right through it. And it's the battle. But we don't want to go there. You want to go to the far right through the sludge and over to this grapple point, which will need the help of either Batman or Robin. Up top, it's a little bit of a funny angle once you land because you'll try to get that grapple point rather than build because it's the same button. But uh, if you're Robin, you'll go ahead and jump on the top of it and do the old tight pants tightrope. Get over there, swoop it up, and guess what, guys? That is the final collectible. We've got them all. Now there's just this crazy battle with Harley. And i got to be honest, one of my least favorite battles. That's probably a favorite saying of mine in this series, as I've probably said it a lot. But uh, I I'm not exactly sure what triggers her dizziness. It seems like you just got to stay right on her tail, but not too close because she'll jump to the other side, kind of evading your, uh, I guess, your closeness. And if she does that, it's like she doesn't get dizzy. But but I couldn't really figure out a pattern here because I continuously or almost continuously kept her spinning, but she doesn't get dizzy. And then, like, all of a sudden, she just gets dizzy. Watch. There we go. So it seems like you got to keep it going. Like, you can't let her stop and pull out her gun to aim at you, maybe? Like, I wasn't 100% clear on this, and I apologize, because normally I'm pretty smooth about being able to, like, you know, tell you how to do stuff. But this one just didn't make a lot of sense to me, and I just went round and round and round and round. And keep in mind, you can use the old start and exit or save and exit feature. Hit the start button, go to the menu, go to save and exit, and it'll take you right to the final totals. Now, as you guys know, in the past, we've actually asked you guys a bunch, should we finish or should we save and exit? And we always get about 50% of you saying save and exit and 50% of you saying, you know, go ahead and finish. And so we've opted to allow you guys to choose what you want to do. If you want to save and exit, do it. Uh, you can go ahead and fast forward through the video or just simply skip to the next one in our playlist as well. And uh, then that gives the people who want us to finish it the option to do that as well. So I figure like, even though, you know, you still have to do a little bit of effort, you, you get kind of both choices there. All right, if you're still with us, I applaud you as this is even, I mean, this is tedious. And look, there she jumped off to the other side. I feel like I totally ruined a good little effort there at making her dizzy. Oh, see, and right there I got like a double whammy and she immediately jumped. So I don't know if like different phases of the battle like have different effects or like I just never really figured it out. And I would say drop comments down below for me, but but really if you did drop comments, it'd be for other viewers and helping them. So uh, it would certainly be worth it if you know how to beat this gooder than myself. Drop a long explanation or even a short one. And, uh, it, you know, it, like I said, I've already got the level beat. It won't help me, but it certainly could help others. Because this is just going on and on and on. I recommend just saving an exit. If I, and I almost did. If I'm being honest, I almost did. But I opted to not to and stuck it out and ready for it, ready for it. I almost edited part of this out, too. But I wanted you to see how crazy long it was for me in the event that you were struggling, too. Finally, depleted the meter, and we are out of there. Look at that. We've got the decoy red brick. I guess that's kind of cool. but So I haven't really talked much about it, but how do you guys feel being in the home stretch? I mean, we only got a couple levels left, and we're going to be moving on to bonus levels, kind of fixing up the hub, making sure we got everything that's scattered around there, if there is anything left needing to be done. And then it's like, you know, almost time for 100%. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I don't know about y'all, but uh, oh to the yeah. Mini kit's going to stack up. And what what's this build? Uh, it's some sort of, uh, looks like, a, is it a pinball machine? No, it's a chair. That's a weird thing. Some of those things, I don't quite understand what they are. You got to go look at them in the museum, in the hall where everything is displayed, which is kind of cool. It's kind of fun to go check that out. Hey, speaking of check it out, we're going to go ahead and check out the next level as we are officially done with Lego Batman Level 12, Little Fun at the Big Top. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this free play level. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Like I just mentioned, we are in the home stretch, so we are almost done did with this series. And I don't know what how I feel. It's kind of bittersweet. It's one of those ones that like, you know, we started our Lego career on Lego Batman 2, and now we're finally coming back for Lego Batman 1, and it's gonna it's kind of sweet. It's kind of bittersweet though. Anyways, check us out on social media. If you have not already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. As for me, guys, that's going to do it for right now. I'm off to get that next level done. As always, until next time. So well.